This video will talk about how you can define your solid model graphic stock size on the Miltronics 9000 series control. As you can see here, it's showing your solid model. With the conversational program, it's pretty easy because when you go to program F8, F3 last, it'll go into the last program we were in. The first thing it does is ask you your stock size, and then you just fill out the dimensions. So on this particular block, it's a 6 by 4 by 1 inch thick block with x0, y0 being the center. So if x0 is the center, x minimum will be negative 3, x max would be 3 to create the 6 inch width. And if it's 4 inches wide in your y axis, your y min would be negative 2, y max would be positive 2. Z min is the top, so that's at 0. And your z max would be negative 1 because the block is 1 inch thick. So that's how we got to this size. Let's rotate it here. So you can see it's 6 inches wide this way, 4 inches wide this way. I'll go to our isometric view and it's 1 inch thick. So if you're going to be importing a CAM program and you don't have that title page on your conversational program, there's another way you can define your solid model size. And that's go to F6 display. F9 stock size and you can select whether it's rectangle or cylindrical or you can even bring in an STL file. We'll just keep working on the rectangular shape for now. And here is your X minimum. Let's say now we want it to be a 10 by 10 block that's 2 inches thick and X0, Y0 will be the center. So X minimum will be negative 5. Y minimum will be negative 5. Z min would be the top still at 0. X max would be 5. Y max would be 5 inches. And Z max, our thickness, would be 2 inches. Let's escape out of this stock size table. Now you can see our model changed. So now it's displaying the 10 by 10 by 2 inch thick stock size. So those are two ways you can define your solid model stock size. Thank you.